It's kind of like a truck stop, too. So with the landing legs cut off, we put it on so the nose of the trailer is this way. That way if the stubs sit right on that. Yeah, what's the problem with that? Yeah. You want me to just turn around or you want to spin it? Okay. All right. It's been a rough day. Yeah, so it's a shop. Fuel stop and a little deli. The deli's over there next to the building. Now check this out. I went inside, got something to eat. Apparently this place is also a little truck stop too. And I got me a sub. Whole sub, two halves, chips, and a pretzel. Roast beef. I just didn't want onions and tomatoes. Now I'm happy I get to eat good too. Should have came here originally. Who knew? Yeah, otherwise it'll be too high. If we put it on backwards, we can let a little air out of the tires, get the front, the, the back of this trailer down, and then um, where the landing legs were, they'll just sit on the back deck. That way all I gotta do is, it just makes life easier if it's under 14 feet. Permitting is just so what much. How the hell is that still gonna be under 14? On the deck. It's 12. So I gotta ask you a question. Go for it. You put videos on YouTube? Sure do. You put one up with the truck from Maximum Overdrive, didn't you? Sure did. I thought so. Yeah. I see the truck on, I go, John, I go, I bet you, I think that guy put stuff on YouTube. Yep. I just watched that a couple months ago. Oh yeah. from it no no the original was only one truck yeah. and it was destroyed oh. where they when they blew it up that was oh, the actual they, truck they really blew it up the guy that has the original mask yeah. that's in ohio yeah. he runs around a trailer that is the trip the mask that came apart yeah but yeah the truck that the truck that i drove that was uh that's a replica it's just the same year make model and somebody made a new uh a new mask for it I, th I couldn't remember. You want to right? Yeah, right to close as we can. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of yeah, you can, sh you can shift. I want this up on there. It's just seeing we pick this up. The gear sank in the ground. It was full of water, dude. Tipped it, <laughs> tipped it up. It was like a waterfall. And then the handle broke. <laughs> Anything over here is just not but garbage. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's... I said on blocks. Oh. I think this is the one that... You can always back up there. Right. I think I remember this one. Rolled over. Oh, yeah. I guess it did roll, didn't it? Look at the side of it. Oh, you can come a little more. 
He come a little bit. Wait a second. Why don't I just put this on? What do you mean? With that last. What, set it on, put it on a trailer? Yeah. Turn sideways, you, set that right You there. could, you could. I grabbed that board out of a trash pile. Just set it on that board, it'll skid on there just fine. So, spin. Yeah, you're loaded however you want to do it. Well, it I ain't picky. Because these are going to sit here. I'll be in a little bit more. You're the man with the wrecker. You do how you feel like you got to do it. You know, either I just figured put the put the ass in first, just so it'll walk on the tires easier. But if if you want to do it that way and just problem getting out from under it because I cut the landing gear off now. This way I could set it. Oh, duh, yeah. Unless you put this underneath. It. Yeah, but even if you get it on a trailer and it ain't, it ain't straight enough, you could always re grab it and yeah. reposition it. Yeah, I would do that then, man. I'd be, that, yeah, but the I, only problem is going to be turning when I lift the yep, back. Because you can't set it down. You ain't got no gear. Like this on yeah. Your trailer. But it should take this with yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's just see. What's the worst thing that happens? You got a card on your brother? Yeah. Card? Yeah, make sure you I get a card for you before you leave. Before I leave. You ain't going where I am. Well, there's another way we can do this. I can lift it up, you can back under it. Well, all right, let me turn, get it on. Yeah, apparently I'm the seventh guy that made the attempt to drag this out of there. And then the guy that I'm Guy that's paying me to do it, he's an ass. And then he got, he got <laughs> on a phone with your boss. <laughs> Just set him off, I'm like, okay. Oh no, that guy's a problem. See the thing, I, I said, I, I called dispatch earlier about this. I said, dude, cause he's paying pretty damn good for this I'm like, if it was just an average load, I would have told him to go himself, I'm done with you. I'm like, but as a company, we deal with this guy often enough. But everybody's got their limit. He's good. Keep her going. Yeah. But you may have to get hit it a few times. I'm gonna have to go forward. Yeah, cut her to go. I would keep coming back and just pinch it. It'll be all right. Gonna be back. Yeah, but when he pulls forward, it'll. There you go. Now go forward and he can reach it out. Yeah, but we got to be up. Yeah, no, I hear you. That tire is actually flat. Have him go more so when he reaches out. This is, this is where it's going to get. Oh. Yeah. Well, when he comes forward again, it's gonna get real. I gotta watch. Wow, we're getting bound up here too. Oh, that can't turn much more than that. No, this, is, this is a jerk job. Like this. I can always drive forward. <laughs> yeah. Just reach it out to get. We gotta get this in a spot. Right. This, it's just gotta swing. But scooch it. Put the leg yeah. here. You can always grab it again once the wheels are on and just lift and lift and shift. I'm saying reach it out, get it straight, and then I'll drive forward. That's good enough. It's on the trailer. Right, now let me drive forward. What do you mean? If I drive forward? Yeah, but well you gotta be. Oh, I could. Thing, be up here. I'll up. Right. I got it's like. Yeah, but when he turns and drives forward, I could reposition it, kick it a little bit that way, and then just come in forward more. Or, well, just go forward. Well, this won't. This will land. Well, it should. Eh, maybe not. Actually, yeah, let me suck it and do a, Let me do it. Here. All right.
I didn't want to go too far, it's getting close over here. There we go. You can twist a little more, but... He's actually got to go forward so when he reaches it out. Well, no, I want to see if he pushes out. It's going to roll. It's going to go back further on. It's kind of tricky here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you went forward with it, when it reaches out, it'll place it right on the trailer. It's harder angle. Now I just gotta go forward. Well, now he's down. I think have him go forward a little bit, you know? Well, I don't know if you have to look. Yeah, well the angle Yeah, we definitely gotta go forward. Just don't let him hit the players. No, he goes straight. Just stop him when you think he'll swing in. Yeah, You're good, that's man. the same. You have it more further back because we can always reposition it. This one might be a two-parter video. That might not be the best one, best one there is. I'm not seeing that hang on. Nah, it's just crunching into the wood. No, but the weight in this thing could bend him. What are you talking about? Got, got, I got one big block up front, like a big piece of crib block. You got another one like it. I got this one. It's either that or I go off. Put this on the ground and load that first and load this second. That might be the way, huh? I think that might be the way. Okay? That's the best way. It really is. I don't want to f*** this trailer up or anything. I, I need to take it off, get my wood anyway, sit on the ground so I can get out from under it. Okay? I go back there, I load the back, just can twist and grind in the parking lot all at once. Now I get next to this, I pick this right up and I put it wherever it's gotta be on the trailer and I plant it. There we go, all it needs. Yeah, that's the best way. 
some real wood something else like that just to keep it off the wait to transport it yeah i don't know if that'll fold under i mean i can keep it from side sliding side to side as long as it don't kick It's hard left, it'll walk away from it because it'll start turning as soon as he. I think he's wanting extra room to re-hook it once it's on so he can drive it like a trailer. That's where she'll ride. I put you right even with it, so as you pull it in, it will kind of come this way a little. That way you ain't got to mess with it much. Yeah. Uh, I guess you probably won't need this. I need you to steal me another one of these. Three might get you. Well, I get close to the ground and see first. Well, you here or over here? Yeah, that's why I chained that up. That thing was basically dangling. Only thing holding on is that top piece on the top of that tube. That's why I wasn't no power only load. <laughs> well, is that gonna fight you when you go to lift it back though? If it's down on the ground? 
No, if you're swinging that way, I don't know if he's gonna hit that or not. I mean, go a little bit, but I want to keep it a ways, a little ways away. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Right. But I can go a little bit. That beer will taste real good tonight, won't it? He wants to put pressure on to fish that chain out of there. Well, we want to get this right on the ground. Yeah, but I think he was, as he was trying to grab it like he did when we were over there. He held it up, slung it by that chain, but he's trying to get that, right now that chain's the only thing keeping it because that'll drop oh, yeah. a good way. He's just trying to fish his chain out. There you go. Oh, it's loose. So now it'll come up over and it'll sling from there down. That's how he dragged it out of the hole. He just put that up there just to get it to tow without hitting the arm.
Hey, you know this ass one out? Yeah, just don't slam my truck with the hook. I figured as much as I put the rubber. I wonder who the guy was that thought all this stuff, just the different mechanisms and stuff. I guarantee it was a guy in the field that thought of it. Like it would have been nice if we could do this and then it's got to have somebody engineer it. It's actually a guy from Canada. He built forklifts for a living and somebody asked him to build a tow truck and that's how it all started. That's a true story. Really? Yeah. I saw a stack. I'm trying to remember, I saw something like Discovery Channel, like Modern Marvel or something. It was kind of like the evolution of tow truck. Yeah. But where it started, I couldn't tell you. He was the four, four per, first poor bastard with a busted ass car. <laughs> Crap, how am I getting this thing home? Necessity is the mother of all inventions, they say. out the other side and let it a yellow look be here and a red one over here. 
big like a belt on the chain. How long you been doing this stuff with the big old wreckers? Since 1978. Huh. I was like one year old. Pretty much he's the bigger one. No, that's fine. Maybe we can go like this, man. Up this side, and then get another one for that side. Is that, Is that the one that's already out? They'll be independent. That other chain already out up front? No, that's all you got one hook. Oh. I'll see if I go scramble looking for one that ain't there. Still want to wrap around the outside of the body or through the yeah. center? No, outside. Oops. There we go. I guess really, no. I guess it don't matter. The cables extend to whatever they want to be. You don't have it same on the other side though. Nah, it won't be. Unless, unless you fish the chain through, then you'd have it down low on this side. Where it goes, it goes. Yeah, watch your handle, don't break it. Burned up steel. There's just a little bit left of it in the nose it. of it. Like Plus, it's full of water. He went to lift, and that, that reach is just like a fishing pole. Like, holy shit. It didn't go in the, sink in the ground up there. Yeah, it did. That's why. Oh, it did? Yeah. What that for? That's believable. And then I messed up measuring the thing, and then it turned out I was going to have to cut the landing gears off. Well, you're okay with the height from here to there? Yeah, because it's thir it's 12 like one to, f to the ground sitting as it is oh, right. and a trailer is one eight So even if I let air out of the tires, but not totally flat That'll get me down the problem is the other side The thing is if I can get her under 14 length ain't a problem and weight's not a problem whenever you're ready to I, I just want to take this and get it around now. Oh, you got a damn remote out now Hey, I am yeah Like that, you want it? Yeah, it'll find itself. Watch yourself. Door's closed. Oh no, we scratched the fender. Staying on its nose so far. 
It's just pivoting on the kingpin. Hope they weren't planning to restore it. I don't know what they're gonna do. Just do me a favor, brother. Going that far. What the hell would they be doing? I don't know. Honestly, probably just put a new front end on it and call it a day. I just, because, I don't know if I'd stand there. I just don't want that kind of video. Now, if you run and make it, hell yeah, brother. If you don't, um. You gotta live while all the weight's up there holding it down. Yeah, but I don't want it to slip here. Oh, it's good angle. Now I was worried about the chain flopping and it making slack. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm here. Usually when I go after these, they're already on their side though. Yeah. I don't know. Everybody's like, I'm the seventh guy to go to get it. And I'm like, what, nobody else can touch it? I'm the seventh driver they sent. They probably got there and went, yep, nope. I don't know. Either I'm stupid or determined. Hold it. You're down. And she ain't a lightweight, it's just empty by itself. It's heavy enough. Hold it. Bring her down. You got room, it's not a lot. Start your truck. In your truck. How you want me? Turn as sharp as you can to the right, pull ahead a few feet, then turn to the left and back up. Okay. Trying to kick the nose of the trailer over. Fart! Oh, I'll leave her at all this time.
That touches ain't going to hurt that trailer. Uh, I don't want to hit nobody. You, you, you see it over there? Taking these off? I'll catch it. I mean, your buddy might be hard headed, but I don't think he'd appreciate it. Listen, the, hard, the more you get hit, the harder your head gets. The more you know. Lord goes up and hit that weight for me. Hell yeah. Coming at you. Experience shows you caught it. I'm <laughs> used to these things. At me. Oh. <laughs> you ever hauled one like this before? Not, not like, not one of these, no. I brought, remember them old chapel trailers that were around all the different truck stops? I got one now, the, the one out of North Bend, Washington, and the truck that went with it. I had it higging two pieces. The trailer we had it just shifted back. I took the tandems out. And the tandem rails rode on the tail of the trailer and it rode on its dolly legs. And I had to load it myself. Oh, well, that's fun. I rented on a, this trailer? Yeah, I rented a telehandler. It's all on the channel. It's kind of, it was a big project. I'll have to check that one out. The local, local rotator company wanted like, just to lift it and set it down, they want to charge me like six grand for it. And I called a crane place, they wanted like 12. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you're out of your fucking mind. I rent a telehandler for 1100 bucks. Done. There you go. All I had to do was cage the brakes, hook it onto my truck, drag it to a flat spot in the parking lot, right. back it on the trailer, lift it up, have the tandems fall out, block it up, use the telehandler to drag the, the tandems out, set it down, and I rolled it forward and back with the truck. Placed it, put the neck on it, we're done. But I had the telehandler to take the gooseneck off without the truck, though. I don't know how the hell I came across that video of that truck. I, I was just, I'm always fascinated by that movie. Yeah. Did he do a decent job on it? He did an awesome job on it. Where was that out? Michigan? The difference is, no, it was in North Carolina, Leland, North Carolina, is where the, the original movie was shot. The Estes truck, you know the Estes truck right behind it? Yeah. That's still there. Since you get Mickey Mantle over to the baseball game, yeah, you go on joke all you want. That's still there. Really? It's still there. One from the movie. Yup, same trucking company, still there. It was never a truck stop. The place it was there was bought and it built to look like a truck stop. Right. Nowadays, it's the town garage. <laughs> yeah, and people still go there, dude. That's cool. Yeah. No, the only difference is I could pick out in the truck to the, to the movie one is the truck had black two hole yeah. steel wheels like mine. Yeah, there's he's, some small differences. Yeah, and he's got the wrong sleeper. The but, sleeper that he has is more of a boxy one where the one from the movie's a round one. He's got one, he just hasn't put it on yet. Like even on like, uh, I've seen like Snowman's truck, Kenworth. Yeah. I've seen one down Yeah, but it's so much easier to find a Kenworth. They, I, they get them close, but they're just not 100%. Yeah. But they, where the hell is it going? Uh, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. They had their truck showing down there years ago. I yep. Saw. Well, the guy that owns that truck, he, uh, right after he filmed it, he just bought it off the dude that built it. Yeah. And that was the day he took delivery of it when I filmed it. But he lives in uh, Pennsylvania, kind of by like Carlisle, 
Lancaster area, yeah. that's where he lives. He keeps it down there. So, if you go to Carlisle, you probably gonna see it. I don't even know if they do that truck show anymore. I don't know, but any, anything in that area, but he'll, he, he takes it around for money. Right? Yeah, they used to do a huge truck show, swap meet down. Yeah. There. Monster, but the biggest one I went to around here was uh, English Town, New yep. Jersey. That's where I grew up, but not far from it. That was one awesome show. I've been, I've been, it's 15 years ago, I've been back since. Yeah. But now, follow him on Facebook. It's a Green Goblin replica truck. He always posts where he's taking it. I still always forget the name. Yeah, I never knew what they called it either. Same thing as looking around that cross member. Yeah. Right ahead of the port. Okay, so it's What the hell's name? The dude named Nate. He built it. He's out of Missouri. And uh, he just decided that he always knew he was going to sell it because as soon as he first released it, on like TikTok and crap, I got a hold of him. And then he was like, he didn't know if he was gonna sell it or he was gonna do it. it. And then I just happened to run into him up at Matt's. And that's the day he sold it. So I felt bad making him drive so far out of route. So I'm like, dude, I'll put fuel in it. Let's go. <laughs> Are you going behind that cross member? Oh, you're wrapping it around the cross member? I see, all right. Yep.
Yeah, I'll tear up the airline the rest, I don't care. Huh? Well, let's roll this up on the tire so you can see it better. There we go. That's it. Should be good as long as it doesn't come back on us. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's going good like that. better off putting them aluminum ramps I got. Hope you're better off stacking them under this rather than these. We're worried about the rolling, but some, you're gonna want some on Yeah, because I was thinking putting the putting my ramps under here. Yeah. Oh, we really I was thinking about putting that right on the ground, but put the ramps and then this on top. Yeah. Oh well, this will you know what I mean? Just so it don't skip. Yeah. Metal, metal. Right there for now. I'm gonna go get them. When he said he fucked up again, I'm like, oh, that's not a fuck up. That's just. I wouldn't call that a fuck up at all. <laughs> yeah, if I could borrow a Schrader valve tool from you, let's pop, pop some of them loose. Whatever you need. Squat her down. I got it. Got it? Yeah, because if you get them right in the center, they're easy to carry. Nah, because he's like, it's like 20,000 on a tail. I'm like, I put 50,000 pound. One of the videos I like see your big truck here. It was a, uh, they like call them damn things. Old Mac Superliner. Put a Mac Superliner wrecker on his trailer. Backwards. Had to put the nose up on the, up on the top here. Only way it would ride. Yeah, hang on. Oh, hold up. Let me spin the top ramp around. Nah, I'd be all right. I was trying to keep that that quicker build up more on that side, so it's not on that teetering port. Where you want this now? Yeah, yeah, right there is good. Right on a wrong. Well, Matt, I'm gonna go start playing for my money. I'm gonna give you this. Okay. I'm after. You. Ugh. They ain't going nowhere until I'm paid, so I, we better start the process now. Uh, <laughs> I don't have to take it back off. If it comes to that, we'll do it the better and fun way. Right. Yeah, you should change this. Oh, I was going to put a bungee cord on and be done. Oh, yeah, if you can... You got a chain? Oh, yeah. Well, when he's unhooked, yeah. you hook here. Yeah, give me a little... It. You should put something on. Yeah, give me a little lifty deal and... Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I don't like that attitude on that other guy. Cause, the guy paying? Yeah, he shouldn't have to be, quote, fighting for his money. Hey, listen, listen, I'm the seventh driver with the ball, but the only first one with the balls to do this, right? And I got a record guy that will work with me to get it on the f***ing trailer. If it's that damn important, pay the f***ing bill and shut the f*** up. And that's off camera. I'll tell you that plain English. There's more people. Well, I put it on there and just bleep me out. Whatever. I don't give a f***. There's more damn people out there like that, though. You should have heard him. Dude, it'll, it will make the video. I guarantee you. So, he says, let's just tow it here. Get it done. Because he was he was frustrated. He was like... I'm just gonna back it at home and be done. I looked at him there screaming, I said, dude, you do what you're gonna do. I feel bad, you know what I mean? I felt bad for him. I'm like, I really wanna get this done, but if you don't want it, I get it, okay? I'm not mad at you. So he was like, all right, fuck it, we'll just take it up there. But he says, tell him like 1620 was the price. So I call the guy, I call him up, right? And he's like, we'll see. He goes, finally, he's on the phone with two people at once, me and somebody else. He's like, uh, well, see if, you could, see if you could break him down to like 14. I'm like, hold up. So you want me to haggle with the well, with the wrecker guy for you yeah. and, and your boss like that ain't happening and i'm, <laughs> and I'm like dude i'm not I, I, at this point i'm like here yeah like i'm not doing you're gonna do his no i'm not do, i'm not doing your haggling <laughs> off this guy's busting his ass for a living he you're lucky it's all he's charging you yeah, no, <laughs> Man. I'm like, dude, he's working his ass off for not much money. Shut the f up and pay a man what he wants. Yeah. Sorry.